Hello, my name is Claire Cobb. And I'm Brianna Godfrey. Today, we're going to be testing the inferior glide passive accessory motion at the shoulder joint. This is an assessment of the amount of motion at the shoulder joint, and is especially indicated if your patient presents with limited abduction range of motion. It is contraindicated for those who have a recent fracture, a cotoquina lesion, or a neoplasm. The relative contraindications for this assessment are osteoporosis, rheumatoid arthritis, children secondary to their growth plate development, and any neurological signs or symptoms. Shoulder abduction motion consists of a superior roll and inferior glide. In performing this assessment on a patient, you're going to always assess the unaffected side first to feel their normal and compare it to their affected side. Um, in order to perform this test, the PT is going to have the patient lie supine on a plinth and then raise or lower the table to their comfortable height in order to perform with proper body mechanics. You're then going to place the patient's shoulder into loose pack position, which is 55 degrees of abduction and 30 degrees of horizontal adduction. PT will then palpate the glenohumeral joint line and move slightly distal onto the humeral head. This will then apply a slight piccolo distraction through their hand placement in order to slightly unload the joint surface. The therapist will then apply an inferior directed, inferiorly directed force through their using their body weight parallel to the joint line. While the therapist is performing this assessment, they're looking for the quality of motion, if there's any sounds or crepitus in the joint, the quantity of motion, which is based on a zero to six scale, three being normal, zero is ankylosed or no movement, and six is completely unstable. You'll also want to assess an end feel as well as the pain resistance sequence. Claire, so I hear that you're having trouble with your left arm moving kind of in this direction. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do is perform an accessory motion test it's called an inferior glide on your shoulder. Um, it's just going to assess that motion and see if I can figure out where that problem is. Great. So I'm just going to have you lay down on your back. Okay. And I'm first going to assess this on your right side because I want to kind of feel what your normal is okay. and how you normally move on your good side. Right. So I'm going to have you move kind of off the table so that your shoulder is hanging off. I'm going to hold you just in a comfortable position. I'm going to feel for your joint. I'm going to apply a little bit of a distraction. And I'm just going to use my body to feel the motion about three times. All right. How does that feel? Okay? Good. All right. That motion felt normal. You can go ahead and move to the center of the table. Okay. And I would then assess 